This is a tutorial for a custom fan vent housing. The vent opens up as soon as the fan goes on. I will be using this as an extracted fan for a vivarium that I am building. I use a laser cutter to cut out the pieces. However, the pieces can also be cut using a jigsaw and a drill. The wood I use is 3mm Baltic birch. Once the pieces are cut, the outer frames are glued together. The fan itself is 9cm in diameter and the housing is made to fit it exactly. A small hole is carefully drilled into each of the slats on each side. A pin that has been cut in half is placed into each of the holes. The slats are then slotted into place in the housing. After all the slats are inserted, the front cover is pressed into place. The fan is then screwed to the back. The fan uses 12 volt direct current. Here I test the fan to see if everything works. The vents open reasonably well, but later I add a few more weights to make it slightly better. After testing everything is disassembled, the pieces are stained and given three coats of clear lacquer. Everything is then reassembled for more testing. As mentioned, I added a bit of weight. These are the small metal balls you can see through the slats. These help to open the slats when the fans are on. I test mounted the fan in the vivarium hood. These are mounted at a 45 degree angle. This means the vents will close when the fans are off, but there's enough pressure from the fan that will push it open when it's on. The fan is removed while the lid is stained and lacquered. Once done, the two fans are mounted. These two fans will be controlled by a Raspberry Pi. Every day the fans will go on to remove the stale air while vents at the bottom will let in air from the outside. A third fan will be mounted on the inside to circulate air within the vivarium. Please subscribe to get more videos of the vivarium as it is built.